was light made of particles, as proposed by Sir Isaac Newton, or waves, as suggested by other thinkers like Christian Huygens. To answer that, he devised a simple yet incredibly ingenious experiment. Young started with a light source, initially a candle, since electricity was not yet widely available. He directed the light through a small hole, creating a narrow and focused beam. This beam was then aimed at a barrier with two very narrow slits placed close to each other. Behind this barrier was a white screen where he could observe the result. If light were made of particles, like bullets fired from a gun, Young expected to see two bands of light on the screen, directly aligned with the two slits. However, what he observed was surprising. Instead of two bands of light, he saw an interference pattern made of multiple alternating light and dark bands, like waves on a water surface. This pattern indicated that light was not behaving like isolated particles, but as waves passing through both slits simultaneously. As the waves passed through the slits, they spread out and overlapped, creating regions of constructive interference, bright bands, and destructive interference, dark bands. Young concluded that light was in fact a wave, confirming the wave theory and challenging the dominant idea at the time that light was made of particles.